Oh, I was, I was totally impressed. It's the first time we have had that many persons. We had close to 70 volunteers from around the island at Nemo this morning. It's the first time we have had that many volunteers coming forward. And it shows that volunteerism is still alive, that these persons did get time off to come up to get additional information as what is required. I am totally impressed and kudos to all those who made it. It shows that they are still interested in going forward and rendering service to St. Lucia. The importance of a mass crowd event training to me occurs well at this point in time. First of all, I'm from Castries. I don't know the biggest event is Carnival. And we have jazz. The training that is given here today in terms of we knowing the way it's, it's all when it comes to mass crowds event is, is important because you find some of the um, companies, agencies, organizers having shows and not involving the relative agencies and the people that are important to know or to give them what they need to have an event. And you find, for example, a few years ago there was a stampede at um, a lime jam and it was a problem for us in Central Castries because we have not done a training. And this training right now is the right time. It's more like a refresher and an open conversation to dot the I's, cross the T's. In some instances, it's more less to direct the NEMO participants or the NEMO volunteers of exactly what is requested of them, what is required of them, telling to sharpen up your skills, and if there are any questions that they had at a point in time, to bring forward so we can give them clarification in going forward. Today's session to me was very informative. Um, I've been in NEMO in our committee since 2017 been going around doing the things that we thought we were supposed to be doing, you know, when there's an activity, when there's an event, all the things that were mentioned here today, um, timing and what we should look for and how we should conduct ourselves and so forth. And yes, I did learn that even some of the things that we were doing and thought that we were doing it correctly, so much incorrect and out of line and out of order. Here we had a number of persons who, who have been there in the past and there have been practices that we needed to, to retool in and you know, retool in because persons were doing things which, which were beyond the scope of what they, they actually, or their main function. So we needed to, to address those issues and also to inform them and to, to impart knowledge on them as to the way forward, how how to approach and how to, to actually respond. Honestly, I'm very proud and um, happy that um, this session came through, um, through NEMO, uh, because we've had a lot of mass crowd events um, um, coming from the jazz activities, the Junior Creole activities, and people in St. Lucia would know Junior Creole is a very big thing in Shrozel specifically. And um, today this session taught me a lot of things that um, we've been doing during those events that were wrong. And um, from what I learned today, and not only me, but um, my team from Shuzel learned today that it will allow us to go and correct the rounds that has been going on. This training actually showed the role of a disaster officer as a volunteer, it shows your role, it shows the, the command center, it shows the, the steps you have to take in order to ensure that what protocol is given is protocol followed. You understand? For example, um, you know that you have to do a public health, a fire service, a medical, a, um, loud music and echo form. Now we, Nemo, are supposed to be the last to peruse and if you go through a form as a disaster committee and you see it doesn't have the necessary that you're looking for, then you would not pen or put your signature to that event. But those are the things that we grasp here today and this, this is what was needed as a volunteer, as a disaster committee, so you could know what your role is and where do you take it from there in terms of a mass crowd event. It is opportune to let the volunteers know who they are working with and what their responsibilities are. We don't expect the volunteers to be involved in more than what they should be doing, but to a minimum, know exactly what your responsibilities are, where they are extended, and who you are working with. So it will be seamless in some of it. And there are numerous activities which are planned for this seasoning going forward. So it's better to acquaint persons who the persons are interested, 
who still has the competences of skills to carry on in some of these activities. Here, what, what the volunteers seek to do is to represent and coordinate NEMO's efforts on the ground. That's, prim that's primarily our role. And as much as NEMO is synonymous with, with disasters, mm -hmm. as in hurricanes, the, those, um, natural those natural hazards, what's, what's, what also happens is when, even in the realm of, let's say, jazz, um, we, we could be at, at one of the events, one of the fringe events, for, for example, mm -hmm. and um, a stand can come down. You, we could have so many different issues, okay, so many different scenarios where you need emergency services. Nemo's role in, in all of this is to coordinate. We're not here to dictate what happens. There's a chain, a chain of command. So, you know, much as we don't get involved with saying what happens at the events, when, when we identify issues that can arise, our task is to report it to, to, to the representative in the VOC, who will then now address it with the with the VOC officials. You have to be a NEMO volunteer to be to get access to this type of training. It's normally run through the district disaster committees. Once you have signed up as a NEMO volunteer and your district disaster committee personnel see it fit as one of the resource persons, once training is available, you get put on to get that skill set to assist. In the event of any disaster or, or anything of that nature where you request volunteers, you have a list of who it is coming out as compared to John Public Coming and Render Assistance and there's no coverage for him, nobody knows exactly who he's working with like a, a Rambo, not like a Rambo but like a concerned citizen rendering assistance. If it comes under the guise of NEMO or the umbrella of NEMO, you are fully covered and you operate with the direction of the director allowing you to render those services. I know it will be useful because this information that I've gathered here today, I'll be able to take it back to my district community. We could all learn and upgrade and update, you know, our information and, our, and improve our approach. That's, that's my most thing, our approach to serving our community or serving in these activities, you know, in, in our community. The knowledge that I've received here today is very, very, very important and I appreciate that. NEMO is a coordinating agency. So the NEMO volunteers on ground are going to help with the coordination if it comes to that. If something happens and the police, fire and these other entities are responsible or responding to it, you need this over, you need assistance in coordinating what has to go forward. So that is the role of the NEMO volunteers in this event to help coordinate so that the entities who are engaged in dealing with the hazard at the time don't have that worry of the coordination aspect of it going on.